Muy buenos días a todos. Soy Yolanda López, profesora y coordinadora académica de la Escuela de Educación de la Universidad Católica Andrés Bello y les quiero dar la más cordial bienvenida a nuestro espacio Educap TV Inglés. Un espacio único, interactivo, lúdico y pertinente diseñado para reforzar las clases en el área de inglés y dirigido a los estudiantes de quinto año de educación media general. Nos acompaña la profesora Indira Bhakti, profesora a tiempo completo en Lane Community College, ubicado en la ciudad de Eugene, estado de Oregon, Estados Unidos, en el área de inglés como segunda lengua. Además, es profesora voluntaria para esta iniciativa. Juntas llevamos de la mano este proyecto. En esta etapa, los estudiantes de la Universidad Católica Andrés Bello, Alexandra Albornoz, Santiago Tineo y Carla Tirado, estudiantes de la Escuela de Educación, serán nuestros profesores facilitadores que nos han creado un espacio en Google Classroom para ofrecer actividades asíncronas que complementen los encuentros en Zoom. Gracias a todos por estar. Bienvenidos. Les cedo la palabra a nuestros profesores Alexandra, Carla y Santiago para dar comienzo a nuestro encuentro de hoy. Adelante. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to Educa TV English. Um, Today we're going to talk about uh, modal verbs. Uh, this topic is going to be divided in two classes. So um, we have here, as you can see, part one, okay? But before we start, um, we're going to introduce ourselves. So let's see. And um, I see we have some problems here with the internet. Okay, my name is Alexander Gornos. I'm 22 years old and I study education, pedagogical sciences at UCA. Okay, we don't have the slides now. Let me take care about at UCA. Okay, we have the slides. Oh, okay, I see the slides now. So, well, uh, welcome everyone. Good morning. I'm Santiago Tineo, one of your teachers, as you know. And well, I'm studying education in pedagogical sciences in UCAP, as well as my partner, Alexandra. Carla? Uh -huh, sorry, my internet connection is unstable. Uh, hello to everyone. As you know, my name is Carla Tirado. I am 20 years old and I study also public science with my partners in the CAP. Okay, we have here and in our classes we will get to learn all together, create an environment of trust, respect each other, and have fun. And next page, please. Okay. And I can see. We are going to well, have a, a special um, activity. I can see. Yes, we have an activity. 
the review of past perfect continuous. And my partner Santiago is going to explain this activity. So go ahead, Santiago. Okay, well, as you can see, here we have a word wall, but first let's remember the past perfect continuous. Okay, so for this activity, we just need to create a sentence using the past perfect continuous. And you guys need to remember that the past perfect continuous needs two actions that happened in the past. So I will give you guys an example once we have the activity on the screen. And then I will ask you to please participate and create a sentence. Okay. Let me see if I can share the screen. Okay, guys, can you please tell me if you can see the... Yes, yes, we perfect, can see. Perfect. Excellent. So, yes, well... Okay. We can see eight boxes. So the boxes from one to four should be actions. And the boxes from five to eight should be a moment in the past. So let's see, I will try the first one. Oh, well, yeah, this can happen. Uh, sometimes uh, one of the times appears in the action ones, but it's okay. So we have that one. I don't know if I should open from what, five to eight, but let's see. I will try with three just in case. And okay, read a new book. So let me think. Yesterday, I had been reading a new book until the university required more of my time to study. As you heard me, there, there was two, two actions. Reading a new book yesterday and uh, studying, I, requ I require time to study for the university. So, I will ask one of you guys to participate, maybe Gabriel. I don't know if you saw the past uh, class. What do you uh, think? Good morning. Good morning. Mm, I didn't be in the last uh, class but, uh, because I was busy. Don't worry, mm. it's okay. But do you feel ready to this active for doing this activity yes uh, what i have to do <laughs> well choose a box it uh, can be two and or four and then another one from five to eight okay. uh, number four okay let's see we have train for a soccer game choose another one please Okay, El number seven. Seven, okay, let's see. Oh no, again, order of these arrows. Let's see, can you choose please, another one, please? <laughs> okay, El, El, El number five. Okay, let's see, one week. Okay, you can use train for a soccer game and one week. Or do exercise. Yeah, you can also do that. Okay, I I have to I have to make a sentence. Yeah, in use past in... perfect continuous. Exactly. Okay. Um, I had uh, I had gone uh, to. Uh, lecheria 
uh, one week ago. For, uh, that example is good. Well, you should use the train for a soccer game or do the exercise and also remember that you have okay. to use the I had been. Okay, I had been. Okay. Mm, it's a little bit <laughs> complicated, but <laughs> okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, had been plus uh, ing. Uh -huh. The verb in ing. Yes. Exactly. Mm, I have been training uh, for a soccer game one week ago. Okay, that, that's good. If we want to, let's see, uh, polish it a little bit, we could say something like, let me, let me think. Um, I had been training for a soccer game, but I got injured. Now, what Gabriel said was excellent. It's good, but remember that the past perfect continuous needs two actions that happened in the past. It's a really specific tense, but thank you for your participation, Gabriel. So maybe now can someone else participate? Uh, Jesus, are you there? Hi. Uh, how are you? Ah, fine. I'm fine. Thanks. What about you? Uh, very, I am very good. Ah, glad to hear that. So, do you feel ready to participate? Yes. Okay, excellent. So, we have do exercise. So, we need a uh, some time, so maybe eight or six. What do you think? Uh, sometimes. So six or eight, choose one. Um, number six. Okay, let's see. One year. Okay, so can you do a sentence with do exercise and one year, please? It's okay, take your time, don't worry. what you need to have and to use past perfect continuous you have at the chat had plus been plus the verb with ing okay exactly and well you have the verb here the do exercise If you need help, you can say so. It's okay. Don't worry. We are here to learn. Oh, he's muted. Uh, okay. Uh, I have been coming here a uh, year ago. ago. Okay, I didn't understand the last part, but uh, you have to use the do exercise, but you were doing great. Like you use the I had been, so that's fine. But let me help you a little bit. So for this specific um, part, we could say I had been 
doing exercise over a year ago until I got lazy. And let's see. Um, maybe, ah, well, thanks for your participation. It was great. And Carla, can you maybe help me out with the next? Are you there? Yes, of course. Okay, perfect. So let's see what you got here. You have two years and a study for a math exam. Okay. Yeah, give me a sec to think about it. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I have been studying for a math exam two years ago when I was in the high school. Okay, excellent. And well, now I believe we can continue with our class. Thank you for your participation. Well, and we have the objective of this lesson. The first one is recognize when to use modal verbs. The second one is explain the use of the modal verbs. The third one is employ modal verbs in sentences. And the last one is differentiate when to use each modal verb. Now we can, we can continue with the next page, please. Go ahead. What are model verbs? Hey, Alexander, have some connection problems. Let me okay. go What ahead. are model verbs? Uh, no, I can see. Alexandra. What are model verbs? Yes, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Carla, go ahead. Okay, what are modal verbs? Modal verbs show possibility, intent, ability, or necessity, because they are a type of auxiliary verb, helper verb. They are used together with the main verb of the sentence. Let's continue. Well, in this class, we are gonna see six modal verbs. Can, cool, may, should, must, and have to. We have to remember something very important. Modal verbs do not add S or ES to the third person singular. So we, we said he can swim. We not said he can swim. How to use can? We can use can for permission as, can I bring you a friend to the party? We can ask to request, can you help me with my homework or ability such possibility like they can speak three language and impossibility like she can fix her phone. Well, we how to use cool. We use cool for permission 
And let's see. Gabriel, you can read the sample, please. Ah, Gabriel is not here, sorry. Jesus, you can read the sample for permission. Uh, teacher is Gabriel. Uh, I'm with Jesus, but uh, my cell phone uh, turned off. Okay, okay don't worry. Uh, Gabriel, you can read the, the sample of permission in who? Okay. <clears throat> permission. Uh, could I borrow your dictionary? Thank you very much, Gabriel. Okay, so if you are with Jesus, you, Jesus, you can read the sample of the request, please. Uh, uh, two. See, the request. second one. Could, could you say it again more slowly? Perfect, thank you. And Santiago, you can read the sample of possibility, please. Uh, yes, of course. So I think we could have another tea. Thank you very much for your participation. And for cool, we have another two uses with the future. I wish Kono could meet me next week. And future Yolanda, you can read the, the, the use ability and possibility, please. Of course, it's a pleasure. Sandra gave up her old job. So she could work for us. Yes, thank you. Okay, how to use May? We can use May for permission and someone in Colegio San Gabriel could read the sample, please. Colegio San Gabriel. Colegio San Gabriel. Thank you. Okay, please read the sentence. Um, we can't hear you very well. It's possible to talk very close to your microphone. Okay, it's a little bit better. Thank you. Okay, well, let's continue with this part. And we have the other one, the possibility. So as we can see in, in the example we have, I may finish my homework. And we can continue. Okay, now, how to use should? Well, we can use should for saying what's right or for a possibility. So, uh, Jesus, could you read the example for the, the first example, please? Okay. Uh... We should solve this problem. Exactly. And we have the other one. I don't know if teacher Yolanda could read the second example. Of course, it's a pleasure. The weather should improve by tomorrow. Exactly. And we hope the weather indeed improve <laughs> for tomorrow. Yes. And now we have must. So we can use must for suppositions and we can see an example of this. Henry must have come yesterday, yesterday because he has an exam and for necessity or suggestions. And Gabriel, could you please read the example for the necessity, please? For necessity? Yes. Okay, you must not litter in the national park. Exactly, thanks. And now before we continue, I want to say that litter, for those who don't know, it's a verb that basically means uh, throwing trash 
to the ground. And well, we can continue now. And well, we have the have to, which is pretty common. And well, we have here uh, two examples, also two uses. First use is for necessity. The second one is for obligation. And the first one, let's see the example. You have to buy the tickets to the concert. If you want to go to the concert, yeah, you, you have to buy the tickets. And for the obligation, we can see children have to go to school. And yes, that's, that's an obligation. Okay, and now we can see the must versus the have to. So let's read a little bit more about the must. The must refers to an obligation between two people. It can only be used for present and future reference. And well, we have an example. So teacher Carla, can you please read the example? Yes, of course. I must write an email to my cousin. Excellent, thanks. And let's see about the have to. The have to is used to refer to an external obligation. For example, rules or laws. It can be used in the past, the present, and the future. And maybe, Jesus, can you please read the example of the have to? Okay, uh, I have to work on Saturdays. Thank you very much. Okay, well, remember guys that this is really important. Don't confuse the mustn't prohibition with don't have, which is the absence of an obligation. We can see some examples of this. So we have, I don't have to work tomorrow. You are not obligated. And I mustn't smoke at work. Like it's prohibited. So remember that, guys. Okay, well, now. Oh, go ahead, Carla. Sorry. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Okay. We have another activity. It's a word well. The activity is to reorder the sentence using the modal verbs. We have a stomach that we also see, so let's do it. Okay, we got this first one. Mm. Gabriel, how do you think we can reorder this sentence? Okay. Um... She, she should uh, lose some weight. Yes, excellent, thanks. Okay, um, Jesus, how do you think we can reorder this sentence, please? Um, they have... Uh, they have two... Respect yes. the left, the left, the loss. Yes, perfect. Thanks, Jesus, for your participation. Santiago, how do you think we can reorder this sentence? Okay, let me see. Let me see. Do you have to arrive late? I believe. Do you do? I do uh, you have? Alright, to have to arrive late. Yes, thanks, Santiago. Teacher Indira, how do you think we can reorder this sentence? Hmm, let's see. I have to study more. Yes, perfect. Thanks. 
Teacher Yolanda, how do you think we can reorient this sentence? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, milk. No. Mel have not tell does Mel have Mel does have not tell the truth. Have not tell uh, Mel does tell does not have does uh, not, does not not have has tell to tell the truth yes yes thank you teacher thank okay. you let me try this for myself mm. you sure yeah sure learn a new language yeah i did it Okay, Santiago, you could tell me how we can reorient this sentence, please? Uh, yes, of course. Let me see. I should do what? What? No, uh, let me see. What should I do? That's the correct way of doing this. Well, Sorry, I, <laughs> I was like, what, what's this? <laughs> okay, Gabriel. You can tell me how we can reorder this sentence. Yeah. Okay. Their students should uh, study for the for tests. Mm, I think it's not this no, option. It's, yeah. Okay. Okay, students should study for their test. Yes, it's this one. Okay. Hey, someone in Colegio San Gabriel could tell me how we can reorder this sentence, please. Colegio San Gabriel. And your answer is no, wait, no, we fell because we got we. Uh, we, we don't end with the time. Okay. That's a pity, Colegio San Gabriel. You have to take a patient to pay attention to participate in the class, okay? Let's yeah. wait for the next time. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, let's study a structure of modal verbs in sentences. We got the affirmative one, and the structure is subject plus modal verb plus verb plus component. Uh, Gabriel, you can read me a sample, please? Okay. Uh, Reinaldo must go to the store to buy some fruit. Okay, thanks. We can see Reinaldo is the subject, must is the model verb, the verb is go, and the complement is to the store to buy some fruit. We got the negative. Jesus, you can read the structure, please. Okay, uh, Sophia can note he hit three um, times. And no, no, no. 
uh, read me the structure. Now the sample, please. Uh, okay. Subject, um, uh, what? Another verb. Plus. Plus note, plus verb, plus complement. Okay, thanks. Okay, the sample is Sophia cannot get your time. If we compare it with the structure, the subject is Sophia, the model verb is can, we have the not, the verb is get, and the complement is here on time. Okay, um, if we have the interrogative one. Santiago, you can read this, please. Yeah, the formula, right? Yes, and the sample. Okay, perfect. So for the formula we have first the modal verb then we need the subject then we need the verb then we need the complement and we can never forget about the question mark so now for the example we have should sarah send me an email about the topic and as we can see we have the should, which is the modal verb. We have Sarah, which is the subject. We have the verb send, and we have the entire complement. Send me an email about the topic without the send, obviously. And well, it's time for some exercises. So we need you guys to enter the quiz easy. And, and play. So let's see, let's see. You will have shortly in the chat all you need to enter. So please join the quiz and we will start soon. There you have the the link. You have the link and you have the the code. Yeah, everything it's on the screen. Okay, because you can take Okay. Okay. We will wait a little bit, but in the meantime, remember guys to please join our classroom and subscribe to our channel in YouTube. Okay, I can see someone else. It's ready to play. Um, hey, who is Sofia many? Berenjena? Reveal yourself. That's my okay. sister. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Um, Gabriel Jesus and Colegio San Gabriel, how are you guys doing with the link? Okay, I can see a third person. Uh, teacher, um, I'm joining uh, in the in the link, but uh, I think it's my internet because uh, it is slow. Oh, okay, don't worry. We wait. Uh, we will wait a little bit more just in case it, it starts working for you. Okay, well, I can see Jesus. In case you can, Gabriel, you can play with Jesus if you are in the same room. Did you see my name? I don't know. I, I read up. Did you see my name? Uh, Carolina Herrera. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, we just were waiting for Gabriel in case you can play with Jesus. And colleagues and Gabriel, you can connect, please. Yeah, if you guys can join, it will be great. Colegio San Gabriel, are you going to play with us? Okay. <clears throat> Gabriel is saying it's, it's okay. almost Okay, are there. you going to play with us, Colegio San Gabriel? Okay. So? Okay, so let's see. How is it going, Gabriel? You think you can enter soon? If not, it's it's okay. You can play with Jesus. One, uh, okay, it's a slow. Don't worry. So, are you up to playing with Jesus so we can start? Okay, perfect. We can start then. Gabriel will play with Jesus. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, you guys have... I play with you, Santiago, so tell me what to put. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see we got what we have here. I believe it's can't. Can't, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> Well, we have three powers now. Maybe we can do something. Yeah. yeah. Jesus, Jesus, San Gabriel is winning us, awesome, Daryl. Yes, let's see. What do you believe? Mm, I think it's can't. Yeah, it's, it's can't. It's can't. I got this carrot. Oh, my God. What a twist. <laughs> okay. Yes, power up. Let's do it. I live early. I believe it's. Uh, can cool. oh could could be cool mm. i trust you cool well <laughs> let's see what well, incorrect is that it it's correct, correct. Uh, wasn't maybe it's, a, oh. maybe it's a rough with it okay. maybe maybe you should do it i think it shouldn't because it's yeah, the shouldn't. only one because which is negative. Okay. Mm. You should wear, yeah. Yes, it's true. This one is true. Yeah, we got correct. Mm. You and must, you must. Must. Yes. I would trust in you, Santiago. Yes. We got this correct. Okay, I believe Jesus is winning. So yeah, his his hanger really doing very well. <laughs> we have to. He can back. he can speak five languages. Yes. Yes, it's, it's an ability. Can is for ability. Okay. Mm. He must. I think it's must. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're quite the investigator, yes. Yeah. We are top We're one. Going up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Then the angles clash this week, but not have problem with my schedule. And uh, mm, what do you think? I think uh, it's cool. Yeah, I believe so. Yes. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was for praying right. for the right answer. Yeah, that's actually. Okay, I'm so sorry, but I have to go with some wishes. I, I, I should, I believe, maybe. Sure. Well, I believe in you, Santiago. No, oh. 
no well we're we're we're, we're still in the first well yes we have a redemption. redemption question so okay what do you like the, the third one the third one the third one okay i oh. live early i will trust you you can use that immunity I, power I too i don't remember use I immunity don't... Immunity, okay, let's do just immunity. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, can I believe? I think it's cool. I, I think we put could and I say can. So let's see. Try, uh, let's try can. can. Yes. Okay, let's try can. Oh. It's not. Okay, it's, it's cool. Okay, I'm let's lost. see. I, I, I don't know. Good, 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 good. Cool. Okay, let's try. No, I don't. I don't know. I, it's a lot of quizzes. Is it? No. Well, did everyone finish? No. <laughs> yes. Uh, everyone's finished. Okay. Uh, well, this is end game. Yes, and uh, Jesus and Gabriel won. Let's see congratulations. The and the winners are. Hestus and Gabriel. Well, excellent. Well, Santiago, we are in second place. Yeah. yeah. We can. Oh, teacher in the we're in third place. Congratulations. I think that's teacher Lo Yolanda. <laughs> teacher Yolanda. I, I don't know how I got down so yeah. low. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Teacher Yolanda, congratulations. Sorry. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Uh, guys, we have a reading conversation for you. This is very important to have more vocabulary and involve better with the, with the English. So let's start. Mm, let's see this place. Santiago, what place do you think is? I actually have no idea. Do you have an idea? Hmm. Teacher Indira, do you have an idea what place is this? I think maybe it's Thailand. Yeah, I think so. Is that right? Well, Thailand? Let's check. Yes, it's Thailand. Okay, let's start. Uh, Gabriel, you can read please the first paragraph. Okay. Uh, whether you're traveling to the islands or the mountains of Thailand, Thailand, you're likely to spend at least one night in its capital city on the way. Uh, Bang Bangkok might be noisy and tall, but it's also an exciting city with plenty plenty of things to see and do. Uh, why not make it a longer stay? Okay, thanks, Gabriel. Santiago, you can read please the second paragraph. Yes, of course. So, where to stay? The Khao San Road was famous traveler spot even before Leonardo DiCaprio's character in the film The Beach stayed there. But it's noisy, not very pretty and not very tay. For something more authentic, Prague Kanong offered an alternative place to stay. With its fantastic street markets where everyday Van Gogh people eat, work and live. It's not as convenient for the main tourist sites, but it has a SkyTrain station, so you could be at the Grand Palace in 20 minutes. Okay, thank you, Santiago. Teacher Indira, you can read, please, the third paragraph. Yes, okay. How to get around. Bangkok's traffic can be a nightmare. Sure, you can easily take a taxi if you want to spend hours stuck in traffic jams, but there are two much better ways to get around the city. To explore the temples and historical sites, catch an express boat river taxi, 
or a long tail boat along the Chao Phraya River and the canals. For the modern part of the city, the sky train is a fast, cheap way to travel from the river to the shopping malls and nightlife of Sukhumvit and the famous Chatukchak street market. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Did you learn that you can read, please, the fourth paragraph? Of course, it's a pleasure. Uh, where to eat? The simple answer is everywhere. Say street food is among the best in the world. And for around $5, you can eat and feeling and delicious meal. Some food stands have little plastic seats where you can sit and eat and they cook the same dish over and over, like fried chicken on rice or pate noodles had to had for Chinatown, Walat Street, and choose whatever looks most interesting from the many excellent Chinese and Thai restaurants and food stands. Bon appetit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Teacher Yolanda. Okay, Jesus, you can read the last paragraph, please. Okay, what to do after you be seen the main seats like the giant boots have at the temple of what to and the spectacular, spectacular grand palace and shop it at Ch to shake market. She go the snake far and Watch the leaf snake show. You can even touch a snake yourself if you want to. Wow, so very interesting. Okay. Okay, maybe we can do this activity. We have to build the place with the affirmation of we have here. Uh, <laughs> Okay, let's try. Santiago, you can tell me what is the place which a place that you might see in the film, The Bitch? Um, I I believe, I, I don't know. I I believe it's Kaosan Road. Kaosan Road? Yes, okay. I, I read this part. I hope I'm I'm good. Yeah, maybe we have to take a look. Okay, the bitch is the first paragraph. I remember, I remember this. And word to yes. say. Oh, it's yeah. It's Casa Rose. Okay. A place where local type people go. Let's take a look. Um, how to take a run? Uh, sports. Is someone fine first like me? Please put in the chat. <laughs> uh, oops. Okay, we, we're searching a place where local Thai people go. So let's let's go look. The Prakanong. Maybe I don't know. It is it's my specific. Uh, what do you think is something that you can repeat? Yeah, the oh. Brackenong. I I think maybe. Okay. I don't know if one of one of the options. Yeah, it is. It's Brackenong. Yes. Stockholmy. Yes, I also think it's a uh, Brackenong. Okay. Okay. Let's search an alternative route during the city. Oh, this is the second one. I think it's a, I think it's that. Uh, alternative way to from the city. Uh, ways for the city. 
child prior. Uh, Looks ooh. like that. Child prior. Perhaps. Uh, yes, maybe it's child prior. <laughs> okay. A place to go for shopping and bars. Uh, shopping and bars. Let's check. Mm. Oh my God, <laughs> I need some help. <laughs> I think Maybe we are in the what to, do, what to do section. Uh, the the bar. A place to go for shopping and bars. I think yeah, it's Stockholm to... Beach. Uh -huh. Yeah, the last Stockholm paragraph. Beach. The last paragraph. The, the what to do paragraph. paragraph. Yeah, what to do paragraph. Is that yes. Correct? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. What? Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, we have Jarawat Street and Suit. Okay, let's, mm. let's, let's search the places. Jarawat Street. Let's search. Uh huh. There it is. Uh, and where it looks right side. Her, her, Head for Chinatown. This street where it looks more interesting for many excellent Chinese and Thai restaurants. Okay. Okay. A place for good food. Jamarat street. street. Okay. And this is obviously the last one. It's an important science sure. school. I think a place to go for shopping and bars is Sokong Beach. I think. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. We can check. Uh, it, okay. the cheap okay, way to travel the last, for river. Uh -huh. and, uh, uh, okay, waste yes, river shopping. You are right. Ooh. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, yeah change. Instead of what, how? Uh, exactly. Uh, number yes. four, you have to change. Okay. Sat uh huh. Yes. Okay. And the last one will yeah, be. Yeah, there will be. Okay. Is okay. the last paragraph. Mm -hmm. Okay. Finish. We got yes. all correct. Ah. Nice Woo teamwork. Very, nice. very good. Nice yes. teamwork. Thank you very much. And well, we have a recommendation just as last time. This is about reading. Reading in English can help you learn more vocabulary and grammar. Can also help you with the pronunciation. Sometimes we decided to put this because in my case, uh, reading in English really helped me out a lot for actually get to learn the, the language. And I want to say that you can read whatever you like in English. It can be a comic book, um, cartoons, Japanese cartoons. And well, I put some examples of what I read during all this time. And well, I, we have a manga, uh, which is the Japanese cartoon. Uh, we have uh, one of the Star Wars books and we have Fire and Blood, which is the book I recommended last, last week. And uh, yes, it really helped me out a lot. I believe you guys could read anything in another language and it will really improve your performance in, in that language. And well, I believe we can move on and yes seeing movies is also a good way to keep learning that's also true so let's see the next slide okay well guys remember always to join our classroom to subscribe to our channel and in the classroom you will always find the recordings the slides uh, additional material you can use to study and we might Put some homework, real homework this time about the last lesson because we know you guys are struggling a little bit. So keep an eye open for that. And well, see you guys next Friday, 11 a.m. as you guys know.
Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Thanks for being here. Bye, bye. everyone. Goodbye. Bye. See you next Friday. Thank you for your participation. Thank you very much.